Hi everyone, it's Melina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video I'd like to make a review on this serum. It is eyebrow and eyelashes serum, like girl serum I would say from the ordinary brand. And it is multi-peptide uh, serum. So I actually um, had it quite a few times, I think three times. But first time I had it maybe two years ago, maybe one year ago. Difficult to say, really difficult for me to remember. And in this year, 2024, it is my uh, second one. And it is because I'm still trying to regrow my natural eyebrows, the actual hairs, as I'm going through the process of laser removing uh, my um, say tattoo eyebrows, um, I would say permanent makeup but I mean to explain it uh, like that I mean we can call it tattoo if that's <laughs> what you want uh, so yeah basically this is what I'm doing I'll probably be getting more natural ones done still um, like permanent makeup just because I don't think I'll be able to regrow my eyebrows completely so I want them to look presentable and more natural and I mean, I think I won't have as a choice really. And also I think there will be still like, kind of like a stain, very, very probably not super visible one, but yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to give you a little bit um, of a story, you know, so you understand the situation that I'm going through. So it was just five milliliters. I just actually read it because I wasn't sure to be fair, but all I want to say is that it actually works obviously otherwise i wouldn't be getting it but also i want to say that i noticed that after i had my um eyebrows uh, removal sessions firstly i had them uh, not with laser but with a saline solution and because saline solution method is very similar to the actual permanent makeup method so it's also like with a needle kind of and it actually made my eyebrows grow back a little bit more even the fact that i was going them like removed the ink let's say or eyebrows uh so it already stimulated i would say my eyebrows to grow better but what i noticed after laser i'm not sure if it's for real or if there is any any medical explanation to it any science <laughs> behind it but what I noticed is that um, because I have less ink there, my eyebrows started growing better, unless it's actually serum. So honestly, I don't want to speculate, but it seems like the product is working. Let's put it this way. Also, if you want your eyebrows to grow better, uh, you can also use castor oil, which I used to do in the past. I used to mix it with three different other oils. I have that. Um, recipe somewhere if you want it i can give it to you i can look for it um search for it and also another one is uh, that is really good is um vitamin e oil it's good for healing uh wounds and also it's great for uh growth stimulation for hair uh so this is my like you know experience this product seems to be really easy in use. It is a bit different. The applicator, for example, is different from uh, some other serums as it is uh, more like this little brush rather than a spoolie, for example, like a mascara one. And uh, I mean, it's really gentle. It seems to be really pleasant. You don't need to apply that much of it, in my opinion. And it seems to work. I'm gonna try to include some photos before and after, but I'm gonna still include presentable pictures, not the ones where I'm completely without like makeup on my eyebrows as to be fair right now, they really look so bad, like bluish, really bluish, grayish, but very light color. So uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna try to include where they are also brushed up. I actually have this one product that I use to brush them sometimes when I feel like it. Uh, and when I brush them up, you can actually see that I have actually some like hair there <laughs> in my eyebrows, uh, which is really a good thing for me. And I'm really pleased, actually. I'm quite satisfied, actually, happy about it. 
so i'll try to do that where it's more visible because right now i'm not sure i actually styled slightly with that uh gels that i have but not that much it's it's very gel from elf brand um so i don't know if you can see much but I used to have just few little hairs there but now it's like almost like half of it is there it's very thin still where the hair grows but it's still like quite a bit and there is some um, volume in it because i don't cut them normally people trim their eyebrows i mean lots of people do i guess uh and yeah and my hairs my eyebrows are like very long hairs quite thin i would say but yeah um as a child, I, I would say that I had bushy eyebrows, but they were not like ridiculously bushy. And also my hair is like not like black. It's, um, I mean, it's getting like, by the way, it's getting, uh, wow, I talk so much because I had coffee. Uh, so it is getting darker right now because it's autumn and less sun, I believe. But uh, as a child, my hair was quite light, almost I don't know, some people would call me blonde, but I don't think it was blonde, it was like very light brown. So, um, yeah, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that my eyebrows m might have been a bit bushy, but because of the color, the hair not being very like thick, they wouldn't look like ridiculously, oh, I don't know, ridiculously, perhaps it's not a good word because some people like those bushy eyebrows. And in fact, I do sometimes. It depends on the person because I don't know if my face would look great with like the bushiest eyebrows ever. Anyways, I talked so much about it. It's just because it's something that bothers me. But I mean, I'm, I'm kind of happy with the results, how it's going. So yeah, the product works all in all. I mean, it's obvious as it's my second one this year and I had it before. So I'll be honest, I am not happy with the ordinary products, even though people use some the ordinary products because uh, I got the first one this year uh, in the set of two other products with peptides. Uh, one was for my uh, under eye area and the one for face. And this one, the one for face caused me some irritation, but this is because my skin is super sensitive therefore i can't use some very strong products and the ordinary they try to make those lines with inexpensive products that really work therefore they put lots of strong ingredients in my opinion that really work but they're not greatest for uh, some people uh, so yeah honestly i realized that the ordinary brand sadly is just too much for me and too natural no, natural is not the good uh, i don't know it's too much for my skin for my delicate <laughs> skin let's put it this way i mean honestly i'm making um it kind of funny but i mean i'm not really happy uh, about it my skin is thin it's sensitive uh, so i need to be careful about it i would be much happier to have thicker <laughs> skin really like some people do Jealous sometimes because also they don't have uh, all the lines visible as much, veins and so on. And yeah, my skin is just, you know, even like my... Okay, I think uh, I just start talking too much. So I need to finish this video, I guess, with the fact that I like the product. I can recommend it. I'll try to include as many pictures I was going to say, but just some at least where you can see some sort of result. I'm gonna look for it i'm gonna be on the look and uh yeah i would encourage you to purchase it if you want to regrow your eyebrows or eyelashes i do sometimes apply it on my eyelashes but i also do apply um sometimes not uh every day not every night uh, the castor oil so product works and yeah i rate it probably nine out of ten on my rating nine stars so yeah, let me know what you think. Perhaps you have some questions to ask. I'll be glad to answer them as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge, massive like, because this is what really keeps my uh, channel afloat. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm using this phrase even correctly, but uh, please do. And I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.